Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video we're talking about a brand new Little Big Planet community project happening by Boxworks Studios called Sackboy and the Sacred Book. Now Boxworks Studios is someone, is one person, not in whole studio technically, who I have collabed with in a, in a few live streams, that was very, very fun. Um, loved Oliver Recording, makes tons of community projects and is close with subscribers. Let's get in there. <laughs> anyway, he is making a brand new community project called Sackboy and the Sacred Book. Now, this is kind of like the uproar takeover I made a video on, but basically, it's kind of like that. It's a sequel to L to Sackboy Adventure made in dreams. So, as you can see by the trailer footage I am showing you, it is basically a 3D platformer. And there's a few things I want to cover because you can pretty much get all the information yourself just by looking at the trailer. But I want to cover a few points in the trailer I found really interesting, which one of them being the fact that it's a sequel, a fully fledged 3D platform with multiple worlds, which is absolutely huge. It could be its own game, which just shows how powerful Dreams is with its creation tools. I don't have Dreams, I'll probably get soon. But one thing I want to point out, there's a few things I want to point out, but the first thing is that there are the old themes are returning in this one. So you have the Soaring Summit is returning from the first game, which is the first world in Sackboy Adventure. And that get that level is returning, as you can see there's this screenshot, it has a very distinct, I guess you could say, style. Um, where the, this, the, like the, the setting area, like the settings area for like which world to choose is exactly the same as it was in the Adventure, which is really, really cool. How you can recreate that it was multiple levels with this key thing. We have to pick out like five keys to, to progress through the level. And then you have this second, the third screenshot, which shows the, the timer. You have to, there, there are time trials in this. I think there are time trials in this project, which looks really, look really, really cool. But another thing I want to point out, this is a really big one, is that not only do we get a Freddy platformer, we also get a LVP karting reimagined, as you can see the screenshot and part of the trailer. LVP karting, which was again 2000 and. I think 12 or 11, I don't know. There, was an, uh, there, are, there are karting sections in this community project, which is absolutely insane. Karting sections in an LBP community project. Full on kart racing. I don't know if it's racing or if it's just like a like, level where you, you drive around, but that is so cool. How you can combine Tech Boy Adventure with LBP karting. That is, at least for me, is just amazing. That is absolutely incredible. I do think that is genuinely really cool. Now, other things, I guess, to point out, it's basically trying to, not remark, it's trying to be kind of like a fan-made sequel to Sackboy Big Adventure, which is really cool. And overall, the style is not as, no near as detailed as the, as the actual Big Adventure game, but you can't, it's impossible to, make it as beautiful, but it still looks amazing. The art design, very similar to the first game, but it, it's not the first game, to the actual game. This is not this is not an official sequel, this is a fan-made sequel, but I'll just keep on calling it the first game. But yeah, the art style from the first game is very similar. I imagine the music very similar because he loves the music. I know, I talked to him, he loves the music in this game, and he loves LVP carding. So he's kind of combined LVP with carding with a big adventure, and that looks really cool. So yeah, definitely check out this project if you can. I put the trailer up over this video, but check out the trailer yourself. I'll link it down in the description below as well as Boxworks Studios channel. So you can go check him out in the, in the description. And another thing to point out is that 87% of you are not subscribed. Now this graph is absolute bullshit. It actually says watch time from subscribers earned. This does not tell you how many people actually sub or not subbed, but I'm gonna show you this anyway like all big YouTubers do. I'm kidding of course, I'm making a joke out of that. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Really fun project. Can't wait to see it myself. I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of shit. 